No Sleep for the Sheep, written by Karen Beaumont and illustrated by Jackie Urbanovich. In the big red barn on the farm on the farm, in the big red barn on the farm, a sheep fell asleep in the big red barn, in the big red barn on the farm. Then there came a loud quack at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the duck at the door, and please don't quack anymore. Quack, said the duck in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the duck and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Then there came a loud bah at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the goat at the door, and please don't bah anymore. Bah, said the goat in the barn. Shh, not a peep, go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the goat and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Then there came a loud oink at the door at the door and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the pig at the door and please don't oink anymore. Oink, said the pig in the barn. Shh, not a peep, go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the pig and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Someone else is coming though. What does that look like? <gasps> then there came a loud, what sound does he make? Moo at the door at the door and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Oh my gosh, he's getting frustrated. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the cow at the door and please don't moo anymore. Moo, said the cow in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the cow and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. They're making a nice big pile here. Then there came a loud neigh at the door at the door and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the horse at the door and please don't neigh anymore. Nay, said the horse in the barn. <gasps> He's driving him crazy. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Oh, it looks like everyone's finally asleep. But it's not even dark outside anymore. Soon, the horse and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm in a deep, deep sleep in the big red barn, in the big red barn on the farm. Then, cock a doo doo Wake up, all of you. Hey, sheep, that means you too. But the sheep slept right on through, through the neighs and the moos and the cock a doodle doos in the big red barn on the farm. Beep. The end. Hi friends, we're going to be making our Baba best friend today to go with our story, No Sleep for the Sheep. And this little guy looks like he needs a little bit of sleep. So what you're gonna be getting in your bag from the library is a cup, four clothespins, a dozen cotton balls, a little shape for his face, two little rain, raindrop shapes for his ears, and a set of eyes. They're all different expressions in, in your eye in the eyes that uh, we're giving out so the first thing you're going to do is clip four clothes pins onto your cup and those are his feet and you can adjust them to see if he's standing straight if uh, you know if one is a little too short you just want to adjust it so that they're all the same length then you're going to glue the cotton balls onto the sheep but as you can see in this one that I've already done He's fully covered and these cotton balls are all stretched out. So you want to take a few minutes and really stretch your cotton out, pull it apart. And I'm going to take a little time to do that. So I'm going to show you how to glue it on. You're going to put a bunch of glue on the cup. So you'll have to use your own glue and then just stick it right on there. Okay, so it'll need a little time to dry. 
But I'm gonna take a minute now and just spread out all of my cotton balls like this, put glue all over the cup and, and cover up the cup with the cotton. All right, so our cup is all covered, starting to look more like a sheep. You can press those cotton balls on there nice and tight. Then you're gonna take your face shape one side of it is glittery and if you want them to have a sparkly face you can use that i'm going to use the flat side so i'm going to put the glue on the glittery side and you can put it all over the shape and place it right in the middle and press down it helps if you hold the other side of the cup too okay and then you're going to put his ears on put a little uh, i'm going to lean on my bag here so i don't get glue on the table And put one on either side, of course. And the last thing he needs is his eyeballs. Put them on. And you have your Bob Bob best friend. Happy crafting! Mm -hmm.